Hi, I'm Nathan from Nikon, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can introduce SnapBridge into your workflow as a photographer. So you have a great camera. For me, I have the Nikon Z50, and I personally love how light and easy it is to carry around. Plus, I love the really high quality photos that it takes. But sometimes I wish that I didn't always need a computer to transfer those photos from the camera to my phone. The answer to what can normally be a somewhat lengthy process is SnapBridge. SnapBridge is a free app developed by Nikon which will wirelessly connect the camera and phone together, making it really easy to quickly edit and share the photos you take on the camera right away with the phone. SnapBridge can also act as a remote trigger for the camera and can even wirelessly update the firmware if you're using a newer Nikon Z62 or Z72. So, how do I pair them together? Now there's actually two ways you can do this. You can pair over Bluetooth or over Wi-Fi. Let me show you the benefits that each of these methods can offer you. Bluetooth is used as a way to constantly have the camera and phone connected while not heavily draining the battery of either device. Having a constant connection is great as some information such as GPS data and the time can be automatically downloaded into your photo's metadata. You used to have to carry around an extra GPS device just to have this feature. Now you just need to keep your phone nearby as you shoot. To set up Bluetooth, in your camera menu, go to Setup menu and press Connect to Smart Device. Then press Pairing Bluetooth. Then press Start Pairing. Now open the SnapBridge app and press the gear icon in the top right hand corner and then press Add Camera. Choose your type of camera and then press Pairing Bluetooth. SnapBridge should then automatically detect the Bluetooth signal from your camera. Press that camera that was detected. Press OK on your camera and SnapBridge will then establish the connection. Finally, on your phone, you will be asked for a Bluetooth pairing request. Press pair on your phone and the process is complete. The second method for connection is pairing over Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is used when more data is being sent back and forth between the devices, such as when downloading full RAW files or videos. While Wi-Fi enables a few more advanced features, it won't always stay connected like Bluetooth as it will drain the batteries in both devices a little bit faster. While Bluetooth can always stay connected, Wi-Fi is only turned on when it's needed. To set up a Wi-Fi connection, in your camera menu, go to Setup menu and press Connect to Smart Device. This time, press Wi-Fi connection and then press Establish Wi-Fi connection. And this will cause your camera to begin to emit a Wi-Fi signal. Now open the SnapBridge app and press the gear icon in the top right hand corner. Press Wi-Fi mode this time. Press Wi-Fi connection and then SnapBridge will prompt you to open your phone's Wi-Fi menu. In your phone's Wi-Fi menu, select the Wi-Fi title listed on the back of the camera. You may also need to enter in a password for this. Once this is complete, return to the SnapBridge app and press OK. And this concludes the process for connecting via Wi-Fi. Note, do not close the SnapBridge app while you're in your device's Wi-Fi menus as this will terminate the entire connection process. Now that we've set up SnapBridge, one of the features that I personally enjoy within the app is the remote photography option. I use this feature all the time when I'm by myself in the woods or up north, really whenever there's nobody else around to help me take a photo. To activate remote photography, I can simply press the remote photography button right here, and if I'm connected via Wi-Fi, it will give me a real-time preview of what my camera is seeing. So if I want to be in the photo, I can go pose myself and preview everything in real time right on my phone. I even have control over things like white balance, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. If I'm connected via Bluetooth and want the real-time preview for remote photography, SnapBridge will automatically set up the Wi-Fi connection, keeping things real simple for me. One thing I like to do is to set a three to five second timer right here in the app so that I can go pose myself and then the camera will take the photo. Once I have my camera linked to SnapBridge, I can actually set a feature that automatically transfers every picture I take directly from my camera to my phone. As you can see, SnapBridge makes it really easy to link your high quality photography with your fast paced mobile audience. Anyways, that's all for me and I'll see you in the next video.